was a big thing that I'm, where I'm really excited about these games is that I don't know how much experience a lot of these players have in these conditions with fewer players, different moving circles, different loot tables. You really have to be able to think on your feet. Exactly. And with the plane now on its path, players are departing. Going to be stretching around the map. Already a lot of players kind of hopping out around for more. It's going to be stretching yeah. that area, kind of scouting it out. You've got that bit of time to look around and see how many parachutes are going to be landing next to you to decide if you're going to continue to stretch up north towards South Georgia Bowl or even further. Yeah, a couple people trying to go to Prim Wars as early as they can. So we may be getting into a quick fight. I was waiting to see if any of these two teams in the Southwest were to divert themselves and try and go somewhere else. Perhaps quarry or grab a car north of Prim Wars can drive north. But it seems like a lot of them are want to stay committed on Primorsk itself. And so we may have an early fight there. A couple of people, though, look on the east side. Three squads all have their eyes on the Povka. Yeah, and that town is not big enough for three teams, Cameron. So that is certainly going to lead for some action. We got Dr. Disrespect in the air right now. Him and his team seem to be going around the Gatka-ish area, currently flying over the southeast, chopsticks part of the map. When you loot this area of the map, you have to be spread out. But look on the left side of the screen. We have another team that's already landed that's going to be Trick2G's team. They may already be ready seeing the parachutes in the sky. They may want to push this to try and take out a team when they're still vulnerable. Yeah, this would be a very good early engagement for Trick2G and the rest of the team to take. They are in that compound directly to the southwest of mm -hmm. where Dead Mouse and the rest of the squad is currently looting up. So certainly they were able to get the weapons faster oh. having landed. Now Waffle, the rest of the crew here in Kameshki, not a town. We see a lot of action popping up, but D-Rich already coming up huge with a nice scar connection on Avril is. Yeah, it's going to be grabbing it down onto the team of Giant Waffle, already the first casualty, and there is no revive possibility happening for that player, unfortunately, out in the open. Couldn't defend himself, just landed on the parachute, but Yak is though on the other part of the map, already gets a down and a full-on wipe onto Wolf. That's going to be ammunition onto Lil Lexi's team. Yeah, so certainly action already popping off all over the place. These guys are not going to be playing timid or tame at all. They are going to be aggressive. Shroud there, grabbing the shotgun, but multiple teams also landing here in Sunken. Not a very prime spot. I think both of these squads were hoping that it was going to be empty, but they're going to have to fight for this. And now looking Smack's team, though, that's going to be Team 14. They do have a good position on it to keep these guys maintained in the water. Chaco Taco going down to the drowning. Okay. Wonder what happened there. Unfortunate loss for Chaco early on here in game number two of the event. But we must carry on. We must persevere. Good luck to the rest <laughs> of the three teammates on that squad. More and more action popping off around the map. We did see Viz pick up a kill, so good on him. Yeah, already losing two player at the very beginning. It's a little fast. Do expect to see, usually in games like this, to see a couple of players go out before it kind of calms down. But that is when we are watching teams who know where everyone else is dropping. That is not the case here. It's a big roll of the dice right now. Yep, absolutely. D-Rich going to be finishing off that kill on the Averiliz from team number eight. That is going to be Giant Waffles team. Meanwhile, we are looking at Lil Lexi with Nomi at the wheel. We were wondering, Cameron, who is going to be driving, and it is one of our professional players that's going to be joining in here, yeah. Nomi from Evil yeah. Geniuses. Unfortunately for this team, they already did lose Wolf, and so it looks like they're going to retreat from their position, and they tried to grab and try and go somewhere else. Kills lining up the kill feed. Still, we have some action happening in Sunken. Smack already got a kill on the opposing team. Solid with a nice shot there to drop Ashy Bears. So they're doing a lot of damage to Dizzy Kitten Squad. Yeah, solid FPS. We know he loves Sunken. We see him drop there in competitive. We see him drop there in Nations Cups. He absolutely loves this area. He knows it. And he is playing off of that beautifully. Able to get a squad wipe, I believe. Team number six. That is going to be Dizzy Kitten and the crew going out in it. Fifth, or 16th place. I believe that was four kills all for mm. solid. So definitely showing up with him and his new teammates at the very beginning of this game. Shroud, though, him and his team, they want to maintain control of Kameshki. They already got a couple of downs there, and yo, he missed the player peek around the side. Technostar, he's going to try and retreat away from this. He saw the multiple players all running on his position, and all he has is a shotgun, very limited ammo as well, so he wants to get up close and land those immediate headshots. Spots the player around the side, takes a lot of damage, lets that one shot. It's not going to land. He's going to have to retreat further in, but I don't think he has that many meds either. Peek around the side, it's going to be bad, Shroud. The baddest of the Shrouds the to get the final kill. And so that's already two squads down. Yeah, two squads going out early, and this is going to be setting the pace, Cameron. We already know now that it is going to be action-packed, and nowhere is going to be safe. If you see enemies near you, they mm -hmm. are going to be coming to try to get those kills. But Shroud and the crew already being a dominant force here in game number two. 
Yeah, this is good for them, though, that they got these kills early because Kameshki isn't that great for loot. It's also on the corner of the map. The circle is pretty centralized, so they're going to have to go to it eventually. They only have a minute 45 before they need to leave. I hope that gives them enough time to get fully kitted out, but... There's four people there. Usually when you see Kameshki, you see some like one or two at Stalber or one person north on those like trash loot spots north of Stalber. That's not the case here. So they are going to be playing with pots and pans. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. Pots and pans, Cameron. Yeah. But let's, let's take a little look at our first circle, where we're going to be seeing our players transition. Certainly it's going to be fairly centered, a little bit favored towards the eastern side of Arangle. So we're going to see a, yeah. lot of or a lot of transitions coming out of that western coast where many of our players dropped. Not a lot of people center. That's nope. the big thing to note right here. There are some pretty powerful positions in the center part of the map, but no one's there just yet. I wonder if these teams that are more on the edge, if they're going to try and play a gatekeeping role. I'm looking at squad 12 specifically for that. That's going to be nothing's team. They can, they have a potential opportunity to gatekeep out this as well as Chad's squads who are both around Lipovka. Chad has an opportunity to go down south though, be able to get his way south of prison through the lumber mill area. Yeah, certainly, certainly. It looks like Dr. Disrespect, Dead Mouse, and the crew were able to avoid Trick2G's team for the time being, rotating further to the north to that main Gatka area. And here we see them looting it up strong. Uncle Getter going to be rolling in, picking up his buddy Dead Mouse. Doc still running through these houses, trying to get whatever loot he needs. Boat, looks like he's got Anthony in the backseat, just letting him enjoy this beautiful trek. He needs to worry about this, though. They go too far. They could end up running into where ammunition is set up. But right now, it looks like Hashik are able to retreat away from the aggressive push by Luzu. A couple connections you see on the damage, on the name tags of that car rolling up on the north, but no full connections. Luzu and Painkiller, they are going to dip out. Dip out, they will, with the blue zone almost done, shrinking on to circle number one. Our next circle is about to reveal itself, Cameron. And with this next circle, I fear for some of these teams in the blue because they might mean a longer rotation for them. But with this next circle, it's going to be favoring the western side yeah. of the central point of circle number one. So the teams on the west, not too far to move this motorcycle, looking very dangerous with all three members inside. Yeah, for Team Luzu, though, they at least have Justin, as you can see on the minimap, who is already inside the circle. But oh, no, Moxie. Our dear friend Moxie from the very first round, he ends up, I believe, falling off the bridge? Or maybe he just accidentally hit F out of the vehicle. Either way, this is going to slow down the rotation, still taking a lot of blue damage from this. It doesn't deal too much damage right now, but it's still damage that you don't necessarily need to take. But for both of these teams, they have to worry about driving through. Smack's team still hanging out and sunken, but right now it's actually going to be a completely different squad. It's going to be, who is that? It's Ammunition versus Anthony Conkman's team. Yes. Yes, down to the south of our main part of Erangel, a full engagement squad on squad is popping off now. Will Ammunition's team be able to come up on top of Anthony Kongfan? I don't know, Cameron. We're going to have to wait and see, but Anthony is taking so much damage, already has two teammates bleeding out, dropped down to about 30% HP, just trying to get to the shack for safety. Ooh, that's boom, and another teammate already down. Anthony taking a lot of damage. Is able to hide in the shack. The problem is him and Drass are the only two players left alive up there. They are not in a great spot. They could easily kind of get gate kept in that position on top of that hill. Yakuz takes another shot onto Event 52, is going to be finishing that player off. But look at these sight lines that Ammunition and her team has on top of this little bit of a shack. Drassel and Anthony need to land some headshots, need to land some kills potentially to be able to push themselves down this hill because there's not a lot of cover. No, not a lot of cover at all. There are a few rotation points out of this spot, but certainly they are going to be deadly if they opt into them. Anthony going inside of the shack, going to be popping off those meds. Certainly he needs them, Cameron. Drassel inside the buddy system in full effect. The good thing that these two players have, at least to make it a little less bad, is that they are still in the circle. Yes, absolutely. I don't have to rotate, so they can just stay there, kind of let Ammunition's team, which is in more of a vulnerable spot, oh. Cameron, kind of have to rotate out of there. Yeah, Ammunition, they're leaving. They're okay with this, and this is going to be the opportunity for Drassel and Anthony to run out. Boom potentially gets picked up as well. If Drassel can get there in time, it does seem to be the case, so they do keep themselves as three. Nothing, though, is going to find out an overextended Uncle Getter. Going to shoot him out of his bike, but... Boogie is going to trade back onto that. It's going to be Boober taken down. Yeah, so now we've got Team Doc fully engaged onto Nothing's team. This is certainly a very heated engagement. We can see Nothing riding on top of Uncle Getter's corpse as Boogie Bagels trying to rotate out of there in the U.S. Will he be able to safely get out of here, Cameron, or will he reveal his sight lines to Nothing? 
Looks like he is gonna be able to make himself away. He didn't wanna even try and finish that kill because again, kills aren't worth it. You don't get points from them. And so in or the trade of him getting that kill but potentially dying himself, absolutely not worth it. They already lost Getter. Keep as three, it's a lot safer of a bet. He's gonna go back and rotate back with Doc and Deadmau5 to hold onto this very powerful garage building. Yeah, we talk about it time and time again, Cameron. These garage buildings are so Great to defend. It is so incredibly hard to rush and try to wipe out a team already holding these buildings. So keep an eye on what Doc and the rest of the team can do here against their enemies. Yak is, though, from Ammunition Squad, going to be finding yet another team to engage on. This time, it's going to be Shroud. It's another powerful building that they have to attack, however. So you got to land these initial headshots. People peeking out the side. Ooh, flick on the Shroud's not going to connect. This, though, in the kill feed, getting a, a triple kill onto Chad's team right now. We got Sever going out, Chad going out, and another teammate. Meanwhile, though, Ammunition able to connect with that SLR onto one of the members of Shroud Squad. Learn, going to be dropped right there. So certainly trades back and forth. Will they be able to get out of there? Meanwhile, though, Chad's squad is wiped out in 14th place. This 1v4, he had a little assistance from his teammates, but they were not needed at all. He is flexing both literally and figuratively all over the competition. But look at this right now. It's going to be a push from Ammunition directly on a Shroud team position. Yakuz went forward onto the truck spot. Threw out a smoke, wants to push in even further. He had it down onto event 29, but as he expects Shroud around the corner, he got inside the building. Definitely heard the shots, but is now going to be pushing up the building. Wants to get the kill on the player in the balcony. This is a very risky position. He got up there without getting spotted, but he didn't check his corners either. So that's going to be D-Rich there to be able to trade that kill out. Yeah, D-Rich rolling up the stairs, able to wipe out one of the members, Yakis, from Ammunition Squad. Meanwhile, Ammunition is going to be rotating back behind the safety of this vehicle to pick up a res on player number 48. A revive coming through. This gives position for Shroud. They're going to toss out a couple of nades. Isn't going to be connected. It's going to be a little too far, but enough sightline under the truck gives Shroud the opportunity to finish off Ammunition and the rest of her squad. So that's seven kills total right now for Shroud's team. Leave it to Shroud to find the beautiful sightlines on the Ammunition underneath the truck and wipe them out. Shroud, true to form, only going to continue this push. I'm sure of it, Cameron. Right now, going to be popping back over onto Luzu's team. We were worried about them. Painkiller, the rest of the boys, of having to go through to, um, to Smack's team. But looks like they've actually looped around and now have an opportunity to gatekeep them in return. But he's also going to be looking at Vis in their own rotations. Painkiller spots the vehicles moving out, tries to land a couple of shots. A little bit of damage onto Smack, or a, rather his teammate iDev. But they're going to make a long rotation around the left side, going from north to south, trying to avoid as many people as they can and to find a clear path into the circle south of Pachinki. South of Pachinki, we will be going. One team holding on to a very good position, at least for the time being, is going to be Anthony Kongfan. We saw them rotate from far and wide to get to this position. They took a bit of casualties on the way there, but as the duo, Drassel and Anthony, still trying to lead into game number two of our event, Cameron. And let's just mention our prizes once again. Prizes for game number two are going to be backpacks. First place team going to be walking away with that level three backpack. Second place team going to be walking away with a level two. Dead Mouse. He spots a vehicle moving around. It's going to be Jericho and the rest of his team on the side, it seems. Not going to take too many shots, though. It's not going to be so clear vision to give away their own position, give away information of their own. If there's any shots taken, it's probably just going to be some zoning shots, just some, hey, like peacocking around. Hey, don't come here. We're already here. Find your own spot. Speaking of finding your own spot, here comes Ashik and the rest of his team rolling directly on top of team number 10. That's going to be Lil right. Lexi squad featuring Evil Geniuses, Nomi, as well as one of our qualifying players. Just trying to avoid these shots, but wide open. Ashik spots them all out with the AKM, trying to put down damage. But return fire going to be taking Ashik down to about 20% HP while he is forced to retreat to cover to get those meds off. It's actually going to be Shroud's team from the north who are helping out. Nomi and the rest of his squad helping out Lil Lexi, taking some shots there across onto Ashik's team. But... Little Lexi, her team, they don't really have a lot of maneuverability from their position. They've ended up pinning themselves behind in that little corner because there's very little cover for them. On that push out, they can get punished for that. Even running out to the south right now, English Adam had an opportunity to land a couple of shots, wasn't able to do so, but that Trinity is going to chime in with shots of their own. That Trinity, one of our other players from the competitive PUBG scene, going to be connecting onto Little Lexi right there. So Nomi and our... Player number 40 just trying to do whatever they can. But meanwhile, Shroud is lighting up the kill feed as well. And ooh, Shroud's team comes up with a huge wipe on a team number nine. Going to be eliminated. That is Gold Glove Squad going down and out. Oh, but look at this. So we got Vista Squad coming in on the dock. Dead Mouse tri Trio. Dead Mouse gets taken out immediately by Wiki. Wiki's down very low himself, though. So an opportunity for someone to return on that, whether it's Doc or Boogie. No one's up on the top floor, though. No one has any oversight position. Oh, Boogie tried to turn it around. But the Rush from Squad, this is going to be too much for them. And so the dock 
Dead Mouse Squad are down and out in 11th place. And you heard Doc talk about it, Cameron, right before this game. He mentioned that he was scared of this being a big competitor. So here it is, Viss and the crew, team number 16, coming out clutch, taking over this garage compound. Real big misplay, I have to say, for not leaving a single person on the top floor. And they got down to the bottom floor trying to assist each other out, but they weren't there in time. But it's going to be nothing. Squad coming up with another team. Boomsy gets a drop onto Goober, but Skududo with a nice turnaround to drop Luki. Deluxe out in the open, get a spray down, but does eventually get finished off his own. And now it's just Skududo in a one versus one. He's able to finish it. That's going to be dropping out Choco Taco's team, and he's going to be able to get a revive on his teammates as well, staying as three with a nice little loot injection. However, they do have a minute before the blue closes on them. They are so close on the edge, and they have a little bit of travel that they need to do, so they are not out of the woodworks just yet. Yeah, on the wide side of things. So that blue zone will be moving fast on that edge. 55 seconds, but Cameron, what once started with 16 teams, 64 players has now been whittled down to just eight teams and 24 players alive. Yeah, half the teams, even more than half the players already taken out, and the blue's starting to close in and just... Matter of seconds, see Team Smack here grabbing a strong position for themselves on the southwest part of the map. A lot of sight lines out of these buildings. I'm actually surprised this compound hasn't been taken yet. It's a very strong one. If you just get inside, use those windows, shoot all around you, you can gain control a lot of the map. And I worry about, I believe that is Trick 2G's team down to the southwest. It's going to be a hard push for them. They do have the cover from the trees on that hill to assist themselves but it's still not going to be that safe for them. Right now, though, it looks like Shroud, they heard the action from Viss pushing in on the Dead Mouse. They're pushing up a little late to try and punish people. Team Viss is already there on the left side, northwest of them. Don't know if they're going to get spotted out just yet. D, Rich, or Learn may be the ones to do that. But I think Team Viss are aware of the push by Shroud. Yeah, they're going to be kind of posturing themselves like they know something is coming, certainly looking in that direction, trying to hold all of the different flanks possible. And here they come. Shroud and the rest of Team number 13 going to be rolling up on the toes of Viss and Team number 16. Shots coming out. Shroud trying to land whatever he can with that beautiful six times on the SLR. This is the gun to do it with. Spots out Viss behind the rock. Will he be able to land these connections? Learn going to be going down, though. Beautiful shots from Wiki. Ooh, and a nice nade to finish off the kill and take the other player down very, very low. It's all up to Shroud right now if D-Rich can't get this heal off. And they need to worry because they have nothing's team up from the north going to be pushing in and third party in this team as well. Stutter out in the open, though, gives an opportunity for Shroud to get it down, making it a one-on-two. Still a hard position to find himself in. And now his spot is discovered. Rich, though, was able to get that heal, runs out, tries to get an angle. Out in the open, though, it's a very risky angle to take shots from. But this gives Shroud the opportunity to swing out on the side. Yeah, almost using them as bait to give Shroud the opportunities, the angles he needs to find those connections. D-Rich going to be going down, though. He's going to be bleeding out, and will Shroud be able to get the smoke out? Will he be able to have the cover to pick up his teammate so that they can push on here into game number two with two men alive? It's going to be an extremely difficult res. Ooh, Skadoodle is going to be helping out Shroud. Takes down Viss. Shroud is going to be one to finish that kill off. Now it's Viss's team is just down to one, it's just Wiki. That smoke is gonna allow Shroud to get D-Rich back up, but this gives opportunity for Nothing Squad to push up onto these three remaining players. Scoodoodle so close to the other side of that smoke. If they walk out without being aware of it, they could get easily sprayed down. But Wiki though, from Team Viss, he wants to get out of here. He's the last player remaining on his team. It's all up to him right now, but Shroud gets taken out immediately by Scoodoodle, puts it D-Rich, Scoodoodle one versus one. Rich only at 30% HP himself. Yeah, Rich in a tough spot. He's already been knocked, he's low. He's, he's low health. He's, his armor has been deteriorated. Shroud going to be going out. The thirst from Skadoodle and then the squad wipe. Team number 12, that's going to be nothing squad, wiping out Shroud. Yeah, Deluxe finds Wiki as well, so that's Team Viss out of it as well. Team nothing coming in hot. We were worried about their own rotation through, but finding two squads in the middle of a fight, easy cleanup for them. Staying as three, staying healthy, grabbing more ammo, more weapon attachments, and more armor as well as they get into their edge of the circle. And here comes the blue zone, finishing that shrink circle number five, about to pop. Cameron, where will it go? And here it is, a hard shift down to the southeast of things. Anthony Kongpan and team number two still looking strong there. They were in the central part of our previous circle, now sitting on the edge. There is not a lot of cover in this next circle. So teams, if they want to push in, if they want to control area, they need to land their shots in order to do so. Yep, Ashik, Dat Trinity, and English Adam holding a very favorable compound in this circle, just a little bit off center down to the southeast. So they are going to be positioning themselves very well to catch out anyone trying to crash onto this compound, specifically solid FPS and the rest of Team Smack. Team Smack pushing in right now. Not a lot of shots being taken onto them just yet. Not taking too much damage. This is bad. They're able to get so close onto these buildings, able to isolate these two warehouses. 
No downs just yet, but Dead trying to pick out the window, doesn't land the shots through the grates, and he knows that he needs to go on the retreat. He wants to group up the rest of his teammates. They're okay splitting it one versus one. Door closed in his face. Not exactly the best move by his teammate, but it's okay. They've all solidified. They have split <laughs> the line of scrimmage down the middle between these two barn buildings. A very nice push by Team Smack. Yeah, this is what we call splitting the baby, Cameron. Just, uh, you know, taking it equal. It's a legal term. It's a legal term. But anyways, I digress. Back to the action here in the barns. Smack versus... Dat Trinity, Englishman, and Ashik. Will they be able to land these shots? Four men in the left barn that we're looking at, and then Ashik and the rest of their three-man squad in the right barn. I mean, certainly the numbers favor Smack right now, Cameron. Absolutely, but when you push from one building onto the next, numbers aren't as important as who lands the first down, who lands the first car 98 headshot. That is the most impactful thing. They want to, if they want to take each other over, though, they want to do it now because the circle is going to start to close soon. And that just means that everyone's going to be pushing it onto their position. Right now, though, they're fairly isolated. You want to get control of your immediate area now before you start to extend your influence. That being said, they could easily just share it at this point. They yeah. could easily just stay in their buildings, try and take out everyone else around them before they deal with each other wherever the next circle goes. Exactly right, Karen. Meanwhile, though, team Ooh. number 11 trying to make their way in off of the northwestern side of the circle. This is going to be Luzu's squad with just Justin and Painkiller remaining, but they are facing a very deadly squad of Anthony Kong fan. Already getting one knock. It's just Anthony left. And ooh, the connection's gonna be had, but Drassel finding his own connections with that DP28 on the painkiller. Oh, Drassel found both. Justin didn't know where their initial shots came from. And that means that it's gonna be Luzu's squad out of that. Should be able to get a revive on the Anthony Hong fan as well. So his team is going to stay as three, it looks like. No, it's just going to be two. Yep. I lied. Boom did get finished off before Drassel was able to make that turnaround. Yeah, so Drassel, though, coming up huge. Will he be able to get over to Anthony to get that res? Certainly, he's making the boost. He's going to make the push now, but it's going to be a very difficult one. Trick 2G and the rest of the squad are going to be riding the coast, hearing all of this action pop off, and they're safe for the time being. So just sit there, wait for the next circle, and see oh. what happens. Deadly shots, though, coming out. Solid FPS, such a good player. But that mini-14 on to Deluxe from team number 12, nothing squad. Him and his teammate Smack there on the side, waiting for the push by the teammate of the player they just downed. Tried to throw out a smoke, but it didn't bloom in time. Now he's going to have to heal himself before he tries to go on that push again to get the revive on his teammate. Looking around, making sure that they're clearing all their angles that they can. Solid and smack on the top floor of this building. Could do a lot of work. And the next circle has revealed itself. It's still going to be on this compound but the compound is ever closer towards the edge. It certainly is, Cameron, but still, these guys do not need to engage on each other right now. They need to be fully aware of the threats coming from outside of the circle. Trick 2G, the rest of squad number 15, gonna have to move in from the south. Anthony Kongfan and Drassel, team number two, up to the northwest, gonna have to make their way in. And then Skadoodle, team number 12, this could be nothing squad, gonna be hearing all of these shots bobbing off now. Right now we're looking at Trick 2G squad. They've been able to sneak themselves into the top five, haven't gotten a single kill, trying to avoid all contact, but now they're gonna have to push into the circle and lose all the cover that they had. So they're gonna have to do a lot of work right now. Drassel though, he able to get his teammate Anthony up, trying to send a lot of shots on the Nothing's team, but he takes a meaty headshot, down to 10% HP. Skadoodle though, and Deluxe both down. Deluxe finished off as well by Solid. He is getting revive onto Scoodoodle though, so they're gonna stay as two, but as you just saw, the angle from the warehouses, from the barn buildings down to the southeast is still deadly. Still deadly indeed, Cameron. And these guys are just going to be trying to do whatever they can to survive in the meantime. But shots continue to come out. I mean, this is such an action-packed game. Five teams remaining, 14 players alive. Trick to God trying to run across this field, but will be spotted out by Adaculus. The shot's going to be ringing true. Meanwhile, though, Trick able to find at least a bit of cover behind a tree, but unfortunately poked back out and will be connected on. Going to be going down to the gun from Adaculus. Yeah, the smoke is going to help them a little bit, but can't do too much work. I'd be surprised if <laughs> those Trick's teammates don't share his same fate having to run over this open field. In fact, both of them try and take some form of cover still on the rock side, but it's not in the circle itself. So yeah. they have to try and find their own way in. Hopefully, Smack's team gets distracted by someone else, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Hopefully. I love the shot that we just got there, Trick 2G's team, kind of trying to run off these cliffs and avoid the shots. We just saw Cookie Man totally bail off the cliff, jumped immediately down. It was a beautiful sight to see. But Horsey up here, he's going to be trying to get these angles. He spots out the barns. Will he be able to get those peaks out of the window and connect onto one of these players? Certainly at this point, he's not going for kills. He's just going for cover fire yeah. to give him the ability to push up. Trick 2 God, though, going to be going down and out to Adaculus, was not able to get that revive. The bleed out too strong. Horsey, though. He's able to make the run across. Team Smack did get a down previously, I believe, by a member of Ashik's team. And that means eyes have been pulled off of Trick's position. 
Horsey finds one, but oh, Cookie Man does get taken out, so I believe it is just Horsey left for Trick Squad. Able to find cover behind that tree, though, so he's able to be al stay alive for now. Anthony and Drassel, though, they did not share that fate. They actually got taken out in fifth place. Taken out in fifth place. Four teams remaining, 10 players alive, and here comes an engagement between Ashik's team as well as Nothing Squad, and will they be able to finish off one or the other? Skadoodle going to be coming out with those trades. Horsey, Ooh. though, coming out with huge shots onto Nothing Squad right there with the Car 98 connection onto Goober. This circle shift is huge. This puts it all onto Nothing Squad, or at least the duo that are left. I believe it is just Skadoodle and another teammate don't have the name in front of me right now, but Horsey is behind this tree. He's going to have to find his way into the circle, but he has position to get a couple of kills on a Samax team while they run out, but they know where he is, so they have to wait behind and take him out. It means they get a kill for themselves, but it does mean that they can't push in as quickly as they may otherwise want, but it looks like Skadoodle, he's also going for the peek around the side. Yeah, and unfortunately, the third-party action pushed yeah. Horsey out of his, uh, his protected lines of sight, and that's going to be a huge connection, taking out Trick2G's team in fourth place. Three teams remaining, eight players alive. Cameron, we are about to find out who our top two teams are going to be, walking away with our backpacks, but one team has to go out before we get there. Good job here by Team Smack. They know they've cleared the west side of their barn building, so they're just clearing out the side. They don't want to rush through. They want to make sure that they go a path that isn't immediately punishable by Team Ashik. Want to try and find an off-angle scoot. It'll though still from the north. Lone player left for his team, but we've seen what he can do so far. Definitely going to continue to be a threat onto both of these squads having to retreat out of these barn buildings. I mean, he, Skadoodle is in such a good position to referee yeah. this fight that is certainly inevitable here between these two teams that have been holding the barns. Already seeing Smack and Adaculus rotate out. Going to be holding the crates, trying to pinpoint the exit Ooh. spots for Ashik and Dat Trinity. A nice nade, though, from Ashik is going to drop. Adaculus should be an easy revive, but that is more health, more resources taken out of them. Ashik, though, they've did, done a lot of work so far. It looks like they're going to push through. They're going to push through the barn buildings. Definitely hurt by one of the players inside. A fight comes through. Idef finds one, but immediately traded out by Dat Trinity. Dat Trinity just trying to do whatever he can. He thirsts and takes out Idev, getting the full kill. But solid FPS going to be spawning out English Adam. Takes him down and out. Going to be using that grows that we talked about at the early part of this game. It's so deadly close range and solid FPS executing, exhibiting that beautifully right now. Skadoodle, meanwhile, just holding on to whatever position he can while Adaculus and Smack are trying to spawn out the remaining members of Ashik squad. I love this by Solid. He didn't go for the final kill of the player inside the building. He just closed the door and knew that him and his team retreating back to those um, crates had the position to gatekeep them out of it. And here we are, our top two teams of game number two. These are our squads that are going to be walking away with the backpacks. It is only going to be decided who's going to be walking away with the level three or the level two. Meanwhile, though, Skadoodle finds a beautiful car 98 shot onto Adaculus. So even though he's a solo player, Cameron, Skadoodle has been putting in the work. He has. He's lopped off helmets. He's lopped off body armor. He's going to push a little more center, a little more aggressive, wants to find more headshots. The circle doesn't favor either of these teams, really, so it's all the man advantage, but can Skadoodle continue to hit these shots? He throws some more out, doesn't find it. The second one lands, though. Edaculus does go down. Smack trying to swing around the side, trying to find an opposing angle with Solid. Two versus one now. Can Skadoodle climb his way out of this? The angle is spotted on him, though. It's going to be Solid with the last couple of shots, and it's going to be Team Smack taking game number two. Beautiful game from Smack and the rest of the squad, able to get